All right. <clears throat> good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, League of Legends people. I am Nice, and today, uh, on the on the grind to Korean Challenger, um, one thing I want to do is uh, before I start grinding today, I need to take a break, a quick break, and go over the strategy that I've been using <clears throat> and. Things that I'm kind of, uh, that I'm kind of taking away from the climb so far. And what that is, uh, basically how I'm viewing it, um, and, and considering this is my first, like, season playing Lee, <clears throat> uh, in Korea, like, a, a full season. Honestly, this is probably, like... I don't think I've spent an entire season working on League, uh, ever. Um, this is only week one. Um, I don't know how many weeks would be for each split total. Uh, but I am, uh, like I said, I'm taking it very seriously. And I am doing, uh, VOD reviews. I'm doing, I'm taking notes. Uh, and I'm just thinking about my game and, uh, taking a moment to kind of go over my feelings <clears throat> about the game so far and what I am looking at. Um, so yeah, the first thing, I played about 100 games, I think. <coughs> Sorry, I don't know why I'm having such a tough time clearing my throat. Uh, yeah, I've played just shy of 100 games and it looks like I've tracked roughly all of them. Um, and... I have had roughly negative win rate for the first week. So, my observations, though, um, about my game, uh, I think are, are positive. Um, positive being that, like, I feel like there's been some... It's been a pretty rough week, overall. Um, and I, I don't think I'm being uh, facetious when I, when I say that it's been a rough week. First of all, <clears throat> the first thing I've noticed is that in the jungle, my jungling early game has gotten better, but the results haven't backed it yet. Unless it's like Maokai or Zac. Um, the, a lot of the carry champs, the Nidalee, the Kindred are still not really clicking for me. And a big, a big part of that, it has to do with just, um, at least, at least in my opinion, a big part of that has to do with just how... Because, like, I'm capable of pulling off big games with these champions, for sure. It's not like, it's not like I can, like, never carry with these champions. It's clear that if I can get momentum on them, I can make them work. You can see with the Nidalee game, um, you can see Nidalee games, like, here. B really good Nidalee games, <clears throat> followed by a bad Nidalee game, followed by some more bad Nidalee games. But, like, it's very clear that I'm capable now of carrying out these like more mechanically like high high level champions but um and this is going to be my next point for the first week of just like reviewing or whatever there is one reoccurring problem uh with my game and i want to point out this trinomir thing i'm going to talk about that in a minute too um there's one reoccurring problem in my game and i think that problem is and what i'm finding playing here uh playing seriously and playing to win so obviously uh korean players are about five times better than all the other regions mechanically at least um there is a there's a mechanical difficulties maybe but it's more about i think the big difference maker between this server and others has to be fight selection and game state so far um and what do I mean when I say that? So when you take a fight here, especially considering that the entire pool of players from what I've seen are roughly about diamond one range from even, even in these, like this diamond three, like I could pull random accounts on this match history and pretty much every person or every other person is like a diamond one player last season, a masters player last season, even if my win rate is negative. So a lot of these games right now, I'm facing pretty good people and what I find to be my biggest problem is that <clears throat> my fight selection is not good. 
and that and i've been working on that and so uh for those who are like what the fuck is fight selection what does that mean it's basically your awareness of where your teammates are or what objectives are uh available to contest um or what fights that are usually okay okay fights in korea aren't good enough you don't take okay fights you only take great fights you can't take okay fights um and that's kind of been my reoccurring like thing that's been fucking me um i'll take kind of like a marginal fight and i won't really uh think it through i did it with these twisted fate games that i played uh even though my farm's okay i would like do something really stupid to fuck the game up they just take a bad fight and i think this is just na programming i really do i think that this is just like you know getting used to <clears throat> getting used to playing versus like bad people and just getting away with shit too often um now uh i think i would be completely unfair to myself uh, i know that it's like we really shouldn't blame teams ever but this has been a lot a lot of trolling i would say and i don't think i'm being dramatic at all <clears throat> I would say of about the 100 games or so that I've played, I would say that about 20 of them have had a legitimate troll in them. I'd, so I'm not even... I Like, I know you hear that number and you think, oh, you're... you're no, I'm absolutely not lying. <laughs> uh, I ha I've had so many games where someone is, like, selling items, someone uh, you just gives up and starts like rage splitting and just quits and shuts down um i've had like i've i've i mean i've had the dcs um i mean i've had it like countless times uh at this point so i i really do think that a lot of these games are variants too um but i think that i think that overall uh the things that i'm noticing are tending to hold true at this level the first one is uh, people keep telling me to play Trindomir. I want you to see for a second. We could look at Trindomir, uh, like, holistically, we could take a look at him and, and talk about him. But, like, I think the summary is this. What I'm finding is Trindomir is fine and probably could win more on him, for sure. But I don't like how he plays here at all. And... When I talk about variants of trolling, I am also including variants of just like getting hard lanes. So, for example, I go on NA, I play Trinomir mid. Doesn't matter what lane I play. I'm going to hit good farm. I'm going to show up for a team fight. I'm going to ace that team fight and I'm going to win. Because I outfarm the lobby and I know how to like, I know how to skirmish and scrap and get what I want very easily with Trinomir. Korea, it's not the same. Um, first of all, when you actually go to team fight, motherfuckers can kite for real. So it's not as easy as you think. That's the first problem. Even if you get like great flanks, people still kite pretty well. Um, <clears throat> even if you, even if you are, you know, reasonably, reasonably equipped to play Trinomir, I don't think it's good enough. Um, there's also the variance of just like, what if you get bad lanes? Uh, all day so like i've had sessions on trinomir where i've won all day and then i've had tr sessions on trinomir where i've just got bad matchups all day there's not a damn thing i could do about it i didn't like that feeling so like you would get a matchup like uh a zach mid or a zoe or a nivea or you know some bullshit and there's not really much you can do other than farm and wait um and while that sounds good, uh, like, oh, I'm going to get my items. Ah, uh, when it comes time to handle the team fight phase, doesn't feel very good. So my observations of the first week is the most. When you're playing against these people on this region, what seems to be the most high value thing that you can do is stabilize. Like for me, at least stabilize the game state don't take a goofy fight and bring bring utility to comps has been just by and large the thing that keeps showing up and winning at this at this bracket for me anyways so i added zach to the champ pool because 
for me i was i was figuring out that like okay so maokai is contested or banned every game what's the next strongest champ and it turned out to be zach so i picked him up yesterday i played uh quite a bit of games with him um but i really liked how he played and it it feels exactly like I thought. Whereas if you're just playing solid, bringing utility to a team, um, it usually works out in your favor. And I think the reason for that is that these guys will draft, these guys will draft champs that just you cannot play off of. Like you can't play off them. For example, they will all draft like Yasuo, Aurelia, <clears throat> fucking Zaya, like, They'll do everything in their power to make the comps as whack as possible because they just they all want to outplay, right? Akali and all the shit. They just want to out they just want to outplay. So for me, the first week, maybe I've had some bad luck. Uh but I like I said, I just wasn't liking how how Trinomir was looking. So I'm not I'm probably not gonna stay the course, which is why I said um this is why I said I'm gonna bench him for now. Now I know that he's getting a pseudo buff with the changes to the itemization. <clears throat> and he's gonna have like uh he's gonna be able to rush Navori reliably uh, without adding the extra crit cloak. Um I think that will help him a lot, and maybe I'll try him again later. Um and then also I would just chalk up a lot of these mid lane games to just impatience, too. Uh just being impatient. Um and not just waiting for better spots, which would make sense because that's already something that I identified on jungling, where it's like, I have a tendency to ruin game states, take a bad fight. So yeah, I think, I think that's the, uh, I think that's the rub. I think that's the rub. The Nocturne, for example, uh, Nocturne was doing okay as well, but just didn't feel strong enough didn't feel didn't feel like i was bringing good enough champs to the to the table so that was the modifications that i've made um and then a couple things i've changed first i changed the three losses in a row to five losses in a row to take break because i felt like you can just lose three in a row over nothing um i've had like here this is the legitimate like i said the legitimate troll lobby <clears throat> i get them all i get them a lot like guy just randomly goes ghost cleanse at the last second or, or uh, exhaust cleanse at the last second and starts like running it down um i have lots of like owen 10 owen 7 type guys uh where it's like they just they feed and give up um that shows up a lot i've had just a lot of stuff like that. I had this game, a guy DCs. That's why I said it's about 20%. We were winning really, really hard. Guy DCs and you lose. So yeah, I think I think I'm I think I'm justified in saying that I've been pretty unlucky too. Uh but unlucky or not. I wrote down most of these games. Um and I'm gonna keep doing this. I'm gonna move this to the spreadsheet soon. Uh, I have the spreadsheet that I wanna that I wanna start using. Um, but overall, overall, I would say it's been a it's been a good session, a good week. I feel pretty good about where I'm at for like understanding where my game's at and understanding like what is needed. So I think I think sticking sticking on the jungle right now has felt the most promising in terms of in terms of controlling the outcome i also see, i've also seen many players many many players uh in these games that have been running zach with pretty good results um which was why i added him to the pool as well and he was also incredibly frustrating to play against and it felt like he took up a lot of agency in the match yeah once you get to diamond with him Everybody just kites you and you just can't do anything. Everybody, like, people hype up Mord and that was why I didn't like that he got nerfed because I felt like he's useless. Like, I personally feel like he's useless already um, versus good people. Wow. We're really getting a, a goofy game here. I feel like Zach is good here, though. They're all melee. Hmm. <laughs> 
And they don't have like, aside from Renekton, they don't have, they don't have a real, real way to deal with me. Like burst wise, I guess the Aatrox could be annoying. This is some strange comps this morning. <clears throat> I'm playing Zack over Maokai because it's a little bit more reliable. You guys just caught what I did. I was pinging Maokai's route. is like the most useless word ever. It doesn't actually cover anything. Isn't it funny that I could ping the exact gank and they died to it? No need to greed. Good battle this morning.
Ouais. I'd be amazed if I lost that. I'd be amazed. Thank God I'm Zack. Not something else. I should just go for Rift here. Look at my farm. Holy shit. I'm popping off this game. I managed uh, resources well this game. Uh, it's because I took wave as well.
These guys are making this hard. I mean, my bot lane's are 0 and 10. They're not exactly the smartest regardless. Uh, my whole team's losing, really. Except you can argue maybe buy. That shit. Guy doesn't look before he leaps. Oh, whatever. At least they got it, I guess. 
These guys are losing every objective right now. Man. So for those wondering why I typed 1800, it's for the Callista to know when to smite. It's what you do with good people, because you type. That's why we both hit it around the same time. Dude, they're dropping like flies. Recall, press the fucking recall button. Recall, 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 you fucking ate. God, I can't believe that worked. This Vi tilts me. Alright, whatever. I was real...
We're lucky. I gotta get the Sunfire, I gotta get the Thorn Mail. How are these guys dying without using ults though? Like, I don't understand. Well, we're not dead yet. Uh, Renekt is carrying super hard. Like this, this Vi has kills, but she, she got gapped, man. Like incredibly hard. The only reason she has a chance is because I'm in the lobby. That's it. Same with this Camille. Like these guys, all of them. I'm carrying the fuck out of this whole lobby. At least Vi is bringing something, I guess. I, should, I shouldn't flame her that hard. But she's bringing value. But Renekton's is like flashing in front of my fucking E's and shit and blocking me. So. He's supporting while carrying. Could be the last ignite for a while, though. You're trolling like you're griefing me, bro. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Ah, uh, brother. Like I said, I get legitimate trolls more than anybody in this video game. Flip it. Shit, I gotta get over there. They fell apart. I don't know, Vi's one Vi's actually solo winning right now, so who knows? I talked shit about the Vi she went and like just won the whole game by herself, so who knows? Who knows guys? Their whole comp just evaporated somehow.
Oh, it's not about the Camille feeding. It's about the fact that I pinged for that. And she didn't ult. Nice game. GG. That was nice. That was a nice, uh, a nice win this morning. I feel like I earned that one. Look at Vi's damage. <laughs> Dude, I talk shit, but look. She actually carried so hard in that game. At the very end. Like, what the fuck happened? She, like, hard beat that guy. Oh, we got his ult. I see. She just kept pounding on him. She just kept pounding on him. And then she runs all the way to mid. And she still has ult, so she just kills Draven. Kills Nautilus. <laughs> she just ran around the map and got a Penta. <laughs> the fuck? Bro, that was funny as fuck. I'm not related to Willem Dafoe, unfortunately. That was hilarious fun. Is that Vi is Vi a strong champ? I mean... Um... He's Diamond 3 he last season. He does not main Vi at all. Um, it feels more to me like he's... This is what I mean when I say, like, the jungle hold, holds him up. He pretty much... is He's maining it right now, kind of. But, like, it's just... It's jungle, it's jungle gap. <laughs> it's like, he doesn't... He's never going to win. He's never going to win unless his jungler is doing well, in my opinion. He's going to look way better when his jungler is carrying. My, it just... It's not that Vi mid is something you, you do. I carried a pretty good lobby. That's a tough lobby to carry, so... Zach is holding up.